this will be the build log of my Tamiya Fuckwolf 1988, and I will be using the Eagle Strike decals to build it up as aircraft white 12, which you can see here. And as per usual with these kits, I will be starting construction with the cockpit. So here we go. So, so, a little bit of a quick catch up here on where we are. Uh, for the Focke Wolf 1988, uh, we have uh, the cockpit tub assembled with the um, control column and the rudder pedals in place. And then we have the seat and the instrument panel uh, ready to go uh, for painting. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do with the cockpit tub uh, on that until I am ready to paint.
Okay, so here we are, kind of at that transitional point in uh, in a building sequence. Um, all of the basics are sort of painted, weathered, and we are ready to start uh, some of the assembly of this, the main assembly parts. Um, so just to go through here kind of quickly, we've got cockpit tub, instrument panel, seat, headrest, you know, cockpit parts are all ready to go here. Um, we've got the wheel well, the main wheel well ready to go. Uh, weather, we've got the gear doors, uh, you know, the prop, the spinner, the, the, uh, the wheels, everything is uh, base painted. Some weathering has been done on it, some highlights, some low lights, all that kind of stuff is ready to go. Um, the cockpit, we'll see the, uh, the, the fuselage sides have the basic painting done with a little bit of weathering. The wheel wells, same thing. Uh, base paint, some uh, shadows and some lightning have been done. So we're basically ready uh, to start assembling things. So for the next little bit, you'll see uh, some of the assembly going together. The fuselage being glued together, the cockpit being glued in, the wings being glued together, everything being uh, assembled. Um, so you'll be seeing that for the next little bit, and then uh, after that you'll see me start getting prepped for uh, for some of the main airframe painting. So uh, keep watching, and you'll see some. Uh, you'll definitely start to see an airplane take shape in the next little while.
here you can see me uh, beginning to mask off the cockpit areas, um, as well as some of the wheel wells and the engine details in preparation for the painting process. Here we are on uh, April 29th, and uh, we've had a milestone um, in the um, construction of this Falk Wolf 190A8. Um, so we basically got to the point where the construction is done and the finishing has begun. Um, so here's what the model looks like now. Um, as you can see, all the main parts are put together. I've got the canopy masked, uh, the engine compartment is masked, on the bottom I've got both wheel wells masked. 
Um, so as I said, this is the end of the construction phase and beginning of the finishing phase. Uh, so sort of the next steps on this, um, I'll be getting the cockpit area painted so you can see um, the way it's masked. Everything that's left clear is the areas you'll be able to um, that will have the framing. So what I want to do is whatever color I use for the interior color of the cockpit, I will now paint over these clear areas. And that way when you look through the window on the inside, you'll see the interior gray, but then on the outside you'll see the outside camo. So the next step, painting that, uh, that gray color on the canopy. Uh, and then I'll be doing some pre-shading. So I'll be going along and picking out some of the, uh, the main panel lines here and darkening them just to give it a weathered effect. And then after that, it will be the uh, application of paint starting with the bottom color and then rolling over onto the top color. Uh, so uh, here we go. Moving on uh, in the production of this and the next couple of uh, steps you'll see will be prep and paint. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, unfortunately guys, due to some uh, technical difficulties, I did not get any video of the masking up till now, uh, but you'll see on the A8, I do have the, uh, the fuselage masked along the sides so that when I paint the wings, um, it keeps a nice crisp line. So the wings will get painted the two-tone gray, and then I'll mask the top of the fuselage uh, with some of the putty, and then I'll mask off and do the tails um, um, later. So we'll see that. So stay tuned. Um, you'll see some video here in a second. I'll start. Uh, doing the putty masks on the fuselage and getting them painted up, so stay tuned for that. At this point in the construction, I am preparing to paint the green areas in the camouflage. Uh, those areas were painted around the uh, black crosses, so I'm using masking tape as well as the uh, measuring tool to measure the decals and ensuring that that area that will be the cross is properly masked off uh, in preparation for the painting. I'm also going to be using the, as you will see, the um, masking putty to ensure that I have a feathered edge around the edges.
Here I start the decaling process. This involves both pre-treating the surface with a future coat, the gloss coat, and then a pre-decal liquid plus the application of the decal, and then a post-decal setting solution that helps the decal settle into all the cracks and crevices of the model. Now that the painting is complete, I am starting the process of the weathering. It uh, begins here with the black wash, and that moves on to some highlighting and some uh, weathering in terms of exhaust staining and the uh, gun exhaust staining.
And now that the kit is complete, here are some pictures I've taken of the completed models. There will be a few different angles and whatnot, and uh, more can be found on the uh, website, which I will have uh, included in the um, comment section below or in the description below. So feel free to go to my website and take a look at the entire build log uh, pictures as well as the finished model pictures that I've included at the bottom. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching guys, and as always, if you are interested in any of the content you see, you can access my website at www.shawns-aviation.com. Uh, you can see all the uh, latest pictures of aircraft and museums and the build logs of all of my current models and past models on that site. And if you're interested in any of this content, uh, please click the subscribe button here on uh, YouTube to follow more. Thank you very much, and see you guys next time.